That will show you two little tips that are absolutely life-changing. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, probably not life-changing, but super, super useful and time-saving. Now, the first one that I find really useful is to know where these centile charts are. Now, often kids will come in with coughs and colds, and this is especially relevant if children are attending some kind of childcare setting like nursery or pre kindy They're going through what we call nursery school syndrome, which means that they essentially have to build up their immunity. Even though these kids are having coughs and colds that aren't really going away, if their weight is continuing to track along the centile charts, that is reassuring for us. That means that there's unlikely to be anything pathological going on and they are just going through that normal process. And where you can find the centile charts is up here in clinical and go down to percentile charts. Now what's really important here is that you are coding the weight every time you see a patient. And if you want to know more about how to code examination findings, I have created a video that goes through the basics of best practice and I'll include it in the link below. But basically what you can see is if you click on weight, every time that child comes in and we record the weight and we code it, the centile charts will automatically suck in that information. And basically plot that on the chart. Now by and large your red flags are if the child's weight starts dropping more than two centiles. So as you can see this child started along the green centile. The child did lose a little bit of weight but seems to be by and large tracking okay. So at this point that can give us a little bit of reassurance. Now the second thing I want to show you is super super interesting and I haven't encountered this in other clinical systems. When you want to do a prescription you go into the current prescriptions and you click on add and say you want to prescribe some amoxicillin for otitis media for whatever reason. You will choose the syrup preparation, double click, and then Right here, you have something called dose calculator, and this is absolutely brilliant. When you click on dose calculator, and providing you have seen that patient and documented the weight, it will automatically suck that into the dose calculator. Let's say this child is 12 kilograms. So at this point, you wanna pop in the dose. Now, if you want to know what the dose is for otitis media, this is the RCH guidelines for otitis media, and it says here 30 milligrams per kg per dose, twice daily for five days. So what I will do is I will go back into the dose calculator. I will write 30 milligrams per kg per dose. This child needs needs two doses per day. And the strength here is the prescription that you chose. So I chose the 250 milligrams per five mil. So I will write here 250 milligrams per five mil. And once you've done that, if you click calculate, it will do the calculation for you. What you can do is click on insert. And as you can see, it is automatically plopped it in here. <laughs> so for me, this was such a life changer. Obviously I'm getting a little bit too excited about this, but if you haven't used dose calculator before for your pediatric patients, absolute time saver.